Okay, let's get done with some more. Okay, where do I start next? Oh, I know. Rajat and her parents. Rajat, we need to talk immediately. What is it, father? I came to apologize. Apologize? For what exactly? I've done a great deal of research by the Deep Realm since we last spoke. I think you were right. Time flows considerably quicker quicker than most pla other places. That means no matter how short my visit, an enormous amount of time passed. Even the smallest interval must have been years. You must have been very lonely, Rajat. I'm sorry. Truly sorry. Honestly, it doesn't bother me all that much. Solitude has always agreed with me. It's much easier to focus on my dark magic research while I'm alone. Why are you staring at your feet? Won't you look at me in the eye? I understand why you want to be put on a brave face, but you're my daughter. I know you. For a child, you're awfully full of yourself. You're right, I am a child. My focus was always on war. I didn't even want I didn't even see my daughter suffering. I'm just a selfish child. Huh. I just realized I'm almost like your big sister now. Now that you're older than me, I suppose that's true. You've become a wonderful person with a very strong heart. I'm proud I'm so proud to have a woman like you. As a daughter. No, oh, father. Regardless of age, you're still my daughter. Even if you become an old woman, that won't change, right? Yes. Yes, of course that's right. Again, I just wanted to say this. And I love you. Always have, always will. Thank you. Father, even where I, when I lived in the Deep Realms, I knew you loved me. And I didn't feel lonely. Alright, Ninx and Rajat. Here, Mother. I wanted to show you what I've been working on. Is this some sort of med medicinal herb? I don't believe that I've seen it before. Can we use it to treat the villagers' illness? Yes, it took longer than I would have liked to mature. I even had to use a bit of light magic to encourage the herb's growth. If I could have brought it to you sooner, I would have. I just needed to make sure it worked first. I'm sorry. How exactly did you discover this cure? It took some time. When the villagers asked me to cast a spell for them, I noticed something strange. There were several people who were coughing profusely. A few of them almost looked quite pale. So they were already sick before you could even cast that spell? Exactly. I had heard that there was a rare herb that naturally fights illness. I managed to track down some seeds and got to sprouting them right away. Why didn't you warn them or explain yourself? All the suspicion could have been avoided if you just said something. My sole concern wasn't their perception of me. It was their health. I needed to find a cure before the sickness got out of control. All I really cared about was you trusting me. You're so very stubborn. But I'm proud of you, Rajat. Um, why are you hugging me? We need to get to the Is herb to the villagers right away. Let, let me go already. It hurts when you squeeze me so tightly. Listen, you should help me turn this herb into a tea. That way we can distribute it quickly. Of course, you're right. Follow me. Nice. All right, Ignatius and his mother. Hello, mother. I have something for you. A wind charm. Did you make this make this just for me? Yes, it's meant to bring you good luck. Fix Ignatius. Any particular reason you wanted me to have a good luck? It's just I don't want you to die. I don't need a charm for that, I'll be fine. I know I shouldn't worry about it, but I get scared every time you fight. If something were to happen to you, you shouldn't dwell on things you can't control, Ignatius. I know, and I know it's unlikely to happen, but I still worry. You're the only person who accepts me just the way I am. I, I just can't stand the thought of losing you. I know how you feel, Ignatius. I mean... When I lost my parents, I thought the hole would be never be filled. But then I met my foster parents, and my friends, and your father. Things got better. 
just like they'll get better for you if anything ever happens to me. You're right. Of course. So don't be so nervous. Even if I'm not around, there'll be someone someone you can be you can be yourself with. I know. I'll try to be stronger. I'm sorry if I worried you. <laughs> it's a little late to start thinking about that. You hardly do anything but worry but worry me. Just the other day I noticed your form was Mother, I get it. Just promise me that you'll live a long and healthy life, okay? That's the plan. Ignatius and Benny. Ignatius, can we talk? I'm still worried about you. You inherited your dad's cowardice. I know. We're both cowards. When you get right down to it, my fear is that this cruel world is no place for a fragile boy like you. Really? I'm not worried about that at all. Oh, God damn it, my yawning. You seem pretty sure about that. I am. Why, you survived in this cruel world without much trouble, without much trouble, haven't you? So I'll follow your lead, lead here, there too. You're living proof that even cowards like us can make our way in the world. Not to say that I'll never feel stress or fear, of course. But when the world is too much for me, I have this to hold on to, on to, to get me through. That's a nice looking charm. Where'd you get that? You made it for me, father, when I was just a kid. I've held on to it ever since. It gives me courage when I'm afraid. That must have been many, many years ago for you. And you've taken such good care of it all this time. So even when you were far away, you were there for me when I needed it. I, um, I need to take a nature hike. Where's the nearest woods from here? Huh, you crying again? I can't cry in front of my son. So be a good boy, Ignatius, and turn around for a minute. <laughs> Fucking Benny. Uh, poor, poor, poor Benny. He can't cry, man. He can't cry in front of his father. He can't. Uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of a break, stretch, because it's going to be a long one. I know it. Besides, I also need to check how many videos I have so I can check how many videos I need to upload. Because it's like 1 p.m. right now. And it starts uploading like crazy. But by then, you guys already see the video. So it doesn't fucking matter. Why do I keep saying this? I'm saying it because I'm recording. But, uh, I don't know. I just enjoy doing bonus content when I do. I, I like this new channel setup I have. Like, I can just do bonus content and give you guys more things. Give you guys a reason to go back to some Let's Plays. So, like, there's more stuff for to watch. And I think you guys kind of like that, too. Like, when I'm like, don't play a game for a while, then return to it. I think it's, like, really good. But also, I've been debuting a lot of games on Bros Versus. So, I think that's, a, like, a good hope to give you guys excited for some games that might happen in the future. Uh, when it does happen. I mean, hell. It's going to take a long time for most of these games, or probably soon, these games to come up, but... <laughs> when I pick something for Bros Versus, or I do something for a Let's Play, I play it for fun, and I pick a game where me and my brother can just play it all the time and not get tired of it. That's literally the whole plan. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video for this, for this game. Alright, later guys.